Balikan natin ngayon si Big Sumintak uh, sa Palasyo ng Malacanang. Big? As the administrator of Sigmita. Big? Aquino Legacy. Also, he administered the outline propaganda meetings of the LP during the 2016 presidential elections. You will see in that video that can you can you put back the uh, the other? Balik mo nga dun sa ano? Balik mo nga dun sa. You will notice that uh, this person who's facing charges now, what's his name? Jaime, Jaime. Jaime. Rodel Jaime is seen with a photograph with the VP Lenny together with their standard shirts. <clears throat> and then next slide shows the Bong face of Bong Banal, the narrator of the video. Ad, he is an administrator, member of significant anti-Duterte and LP leaning Facebook groups, pages, actively circulating propaganda within different social media platforms alongside this Jaime Rodel. Artist and also is a photojournalist identified providing visual representations and images for different black propagandas used by Rappler. He actively initiated protests regarding the ousting of former Chief Justice Jose, uh, just Maria Lourdes Sereno. Next slide, please. Now, there was an, a, an analysis of the voices. And as I said earlier, it appears that the narrator in the Bicoy video is Bong Banal. Their voices are the same. Said recording voice was found to have similar pitch spectral frequency with Bong Banal. Next, next slide, please. Next, Lali Ben. Now we have the photo of Punteos, who is a former Navy officer and a member of the Magdalo Group. Rudel Jaime shown in the photo is connected with Tukit Incorporated as a freelance programmer and he is a well-known supporter of the Liberal Party and was found to be the web administrator of Metro Balita wherein the Ang Totong Narcolis first surface. Metro Balita is known to be promoting Ocho Derecho candidates on its Facebook page. That is the diagram which we have also here. There is a this is another diagram. Where you, where you will, it's seen that the links between the National Union of Journalists, Alejano, Hilbay, the Liberal Party, Rodel Jaime, Trillanes, the Rappler. The Vera Files, Ellen Tordillas. In other words, it is obvious that these groups have 
linked together to discredit the Duterte administration and to boost the candidacies of the Ocho Derecho senatorial candidates. Now, after the release of the matrix linkages between Bicoy and Ellen Tordillas to the public, the website, look at this, because if they're not hiding anything, the website of Metro Balita was permanently shut down by its administrator. Likewise, most recent posts of Metro Balita Facebook page pertaining to Bicoy videos were immediately deleted by the administrator. That's another personality shown by the diagram identified by Rodel Jaime as the client who requested him to create the Metro Balita website. And who is this woman? Identified as Marung Nguyen or Marusi and Maria Cristina Elvira. In other words, aliases. An ardent supporter of the Liberal Party and also candidates. And administrator of Freedom Wall PH or Philippines Facebook page. And then we have a photograph of Fillmore R-U-L-L, -L, Roll, who is a member of the PMA class of 2001. He is a member of the Samang Magdalo and currently serves as security officer of Senator Antonio Trillanes, who is the alleged facilitator for Jaime's safety after the Ang Totong narco list videos became controversial. And then here comes Peter Jumel Advin Advincula, who identifies himself as Bicoy. He made a public appearance at the Integrated Bar of the Philippines the other day, May 6. He claims to be the Bicoy in the Tong Narco list. He is formerly most wanted criminal in Naga City and convicted of various crimes such as estapa, illegal recruitment, and theft, resulting to his imprisonment of six years. Now it appears that the voice of Bikoy in the video is not the same as the voice of the one who <clears throat> presents himself as Bikoy or Advincula. The in other words, if you listen, you will notice that the accent of the Bikoy in the video has an Ilocano accent, while Bikoy, who represents himself as Bikoy or Advincula, has a Bikolani accent because he's a Bikolano from Sursogon. Mm -hmm. So it could be that isang Chinese businesswoman at franchise owner ng isang multi-level marketing company. Next. Inilipat ako ng oh, aking boss yun ang, yun ang, na si Teresa Petrolo lang na tumata yung franchise owner ng First Vita Plus Marketing Corporation. Ulitin natin, ulitin natin yung voice ni, ni ano, nung, <laughs> nung isang Bikoy. Yung original Bikoy. Yung naka-hood eh. Si Teresa Tess Ranyola, isang Chinese businesswoman at franchise owner ng isang multi-level marketing company. Owner. 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 Pinilipat ako ng aking boss na si Teresa Tess Ranyola na tumata yung franchise owner ng First Vita Plus Marketing Corporation. Di ba? In other words, it could be that this Bikoy who presents himself to be Bikoy was there while the other Bikoy was 
the one presenting himself as Bikoy in the video. Now we have another personality, Jerry May Maghinay, who is the registered owner of Now You Know website. He's, she's responsible for the uploading of videos of Eduardo Acerto on 25 March, 7 April, and May 5, 2019. Oh, this this is the diagram where Jerry May Ayuban Mahinai is shown and her connections like to the Yellow Boat, Yellow Boat of Hope Foundation. If you will notice, the address is the Linear Makati. That's what I was telling you about. Ganon din itong Splice Business Solutions. Linear Makati rin. Pareho ng Be a Giver. Linear Makati. The Yellow Ribbon Movement. Email address niya is ymphilippines at gmail.com. These are the personalities, no? Ba Makino, Margarita Wico, Antonio Trillanes, Maroha, so this, Asierto. In other words, <laughs> para, bakit naman para pareho opisina nila eh? When that was investigated, it's only a 40 square meter room. In other words, it's impossible na may mga cubicle doon at tapos itong mga ito na ka-opisina doon. Isa lang ang ginagamit talaga nila. Next slide. Oh, ito na yung mga kone-koneksyon nila. Dapat meron kayong picture nito. Sub copy. Excuse me. Yung, uh, oh, sige. Bigyan na, bigyan na lang kayo mamaya. Uh, yung, uh, PowerPoint. So anyway, i-shortcut na natin. Y yun, yun ang pinaka-ano doon, pinaka-punto. So any question? Uh, Rose, yeah. Rose, Rose Linario. Hi, sir. So ang ibig nyo sabihin si, itong si Advain Kula, eh, posibleng pakawala para guluhin yung ginagawang investigasyon ng NBI at ng PNP na tumutumbok doon sa sinasabi niyo mga personalities. Pa parang panggulo siya, sinadya siyang pakawalan para i-preempt yung investigation result para magulo. Sir, kasi... Ano Anong eh, investigation ng ano? Para guluhin yung investigation na ginagawa ng administration o ng gobyerno doon sa totoong bikoy. Kasi, di ba... Hindi, pa, pwede wala pa no? namang nag-ano, wala pa namang... Not necessarily, ito. parang lumalabas, kasama siya doon. Kasi yung, yung lumalabas, yung boses niya, iba, di ba? Pwede rin namang iba. Pwede pakawala rin siya para gulo. Hindi, hindi, hindi pakawala ko ni, kasama siya doon. It's part of the, you know, Pero sir, wala naman siyang direktang, uh, direktang koneksyon doon sa mga taong sinabi nyo na konektado doon sa uh, Auster Plot Matrix wala siyang connection doon eh. Di ba parang tumayo lang siyang solo? Oh, pero nung lumabas yun, yun eh, nap napunta na, hindi ba yung sa Matrix? Yung attention nga, sir, parang na-divert. Oh. Parang panggulo nga, panggulo. Hindi panggulo, kasi siya ang, siya parang naging source. Di ba nag-book? Kasi kung sabi niyo, sir, fake eh. Hindi naman pala siya yung biko eh. Hindi. Take in the sense na yun ang pinipreset niya. But pwede rin naman na silang dalawa nandun habang binivideo yun. Ginamit. Pero kasi sir, sa Matrix, sinan nyo, wala siyang connection eh. Mal kasi sabi nyo nga, iba yung pitch, iba yung intonation, iba yung accent. Correct. Diba? But what I'm saying is, pwede rin naman silang dalawa nandun. 
Kung baga kami na lang siya si nagpapanggap na Bicoy, ako yung tunay na Bicoy. Nato kami sa, pareho. Tsaka sa Matrix nyo, wala naman lumalabas na may handler yung Advin Kule. Siguro kasama yun sa kanilang seta para, yun nga, tama ka doon. Magulo, oh, hindi naman pala si Bicoy yan. Eh. Iba oh, naman pala. Yun, yun, oh, pero the fact is, talagang may ganun, all of them oh, may are plan, part oh. of the conspiracy. Okay, thank you, Rose. Uh, Raymond, then uh, Vic Sumintak, and uh, Henry. Please limit your follow-up questions sa may flight si Secretary. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Uh, just to establish facts. So, this conspiracy ultimately is to oust the President or just a mere black propaganda to discredit the Duterte That's administration. One. The other one is to boost the candidacy of the Ocho Derecho. And last point, sir. In your information, or the information from the Office of the President, was there any established info of whether a military component or police component is already being active or associated to that conspiracy? Wala, hindi ko, walang binigay sa akin point na yan. But considering na merong magdalo na involved, o hindi, hindi katakataka kung may magkaroon sila. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, Vic Suminta. Sir, just a follow-up. Kasi ang sabi niyo magkaiba yung boses nung si Advin Kula at saka si Bong Banal. Posibleng nandun sila. Now, the question is, who is the real Bicoy? Uy, that's palagay ko, magiging irrelevant na yun. The, the, the point of the matter is, merong video na sinisiraan si Presidente at dalawa sila. Yung isa, siya ang nag, uh, sabi siya si Bicoy. Yung isa naman, is presenting himself to be. So most likely, dalawa sila magkasama sila doon. But what is important is, ano ba yung video? Yun ay paninira ng president, kay presidente. Sino ba nag uh, circulate noon? O, o, makikita natin sa diagram, mukhang sila-sila lahat na nangalanan sa matrix ang kasakasama. Kasama na yung mga partido liberal at mga dilaw at yung mga advocates nila. So, follow up. Sabi nyo, a uh, grand conspiracy to discredit the Duterte administration o para ibagsak. And, Identify po, yung mga tao. And to boost the candidacies of the senatorial candidates of the opposition. Okay, my point, sir, is identified yung uh, mga personalities. Anong legal action ngayon na gagawin ng Malacanang? Eh, tingnan natin. Di ba sabi natin, uh, kung yung ginagawa nila ay propaganda, black propaganda, eh, ibig sabihin, live loose. So, the moment the PNP and other law enforcement agencies have sufficient evidence to strong enough, ipapile na yung kaso laban sa kanilang lahat. Okay, Henry, then Jeneline and Alvin. Secretary, you mentioned Liberal Party. Sino sa Liberal Party ang utak ng lahat ng ito? Ay, hindi natin lang kung sino ang utak. <laughs> Basta yung mga nandyan identified with the Liberal Party. Yung mga personalities. Wala hong isang tao na nagkukumando? Hindi natin alam yun. Huwag <laughs> nyo na akong pilitin. <laughs> I'm basing my responses to the diagram being presented to you. That will determine or oh, that will I think, need another investigation. Lalabas, eventually yan. Pag nagkaroon ng ano na dyan, baka magturuan na sila. Alright. Um, ano po ang, 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 ang pahayag o reaksyon ng presidente nung makita o mabasa niya yan? O eto, na nga yung, yan? eto na nga yung reaksyon niya. Gusto niya ang isa publiko, yung tinanggap niya ang impormasyon. Alright. Galit siya. Hindi ko alam kung galit siya o natutuwa siya. What is important is I've been instructed to present this and it's coming from him. All right, thank you. Okay, a friendly reminder, limit your follow-up pa may flight si Secretary Jeneline, then Alvin. Kaming dalawa ni Martin Andanar ang in-instruct ni Presidente na i-present sa inyo. Good afternoon, sir. Sir, may we know where did the President get the information, the intelligence information? Uh, eh, alam mo naman, Presidente yun. So many many sources. You'll have to ask him himself. Local ba, sir? Local... No, you, that's why you'll have to ask him himself. Kasi sabi niya, pag may tanong sila, tanongin ako. 
Sir, was the information verified, validated by the panel? And knowing him as, as one who is a thinking president, he would have validated every information he has received. Sir, is it the same foreign source he got the earlier matrix? Hindi ko alam. Wala siyang sinabi sa akin. Basta... Vic, sumintak mo lang sa palasyon ng Malacanian, Vic. Vic, go ahead. Vic? Vic?